So, you have a movie that you made, you put lots of hard work to it, and you want to add a watermark so nobody can rip you off and say that they made the movie. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that today. It's not that hard, although you will be needing QuickTime Pro, the registered version. Here's how to do it. To start off, we're going to make a watermark for our movie, and we're just going to do simple text. I'm in Keynote right now. And what we're going to do is we'll do uh, MacTipper.com. And we'll edit this a bit so that it's viewable on almost all surfaces. I'm going to go to text, to object. We're going to give our object a shadow, and I'm going to be doing a blue shadow. And we're going to want to set its offset to zero and its opacity to 100%. We'll then select the text itself, say shadow, zero, everything set. And so this is what we have right now. And uh, we'll just stick with the size for now. Next what we'll need is we'll need only the text. Because see we have transparent text here. And we want it to look like that. Except we want to be able to like, see through the letters and such. So to do that we'll need to take a screenshot. And we'll do command shift 4. And just drag over it. Like that. And there's a picture right here, and we'll open it up in preview. So we have it open in preview, and we want to do select instant alpha, and we'll instant alpha everything. Hit return, and then we have a blank slate. We'll go back to Keynote, select our text, hit Command C to copy it, and paste it right in. And now we have our text right here. We want to select it. We'll click outside, and then click on the inside, and we'll select it. and crop. And there we go. We'll save this and that is our image for that we're going to be using for our watermark. Now that we have the image for our watermark, we'll be wanting to put that into a video. The video we're going to be using is actually a previous video and it's about rotating images in preview. And here it is how to freely rotate images in leopard preview. And we're going to be adding a watermark to this. But to do that, we'll need to select it all. We'll just say select all. And if you say select all, it will add the watermark to the entire movie. But we don't want it there. We want it after the intro. So we'll move this slider until the end of the intro, which is just about now. Just right. There we go. And we'll move this slider to the beginning of the credits. There we go. And so we only have the middle portion selected. Now what we need to do is we need to paste in our watermark. So we'll go over here, select all, command C. So we'll do command A, command C. We'll go back here, we can do command option, shift V. We'll just go to edit, add to movie and scale. And this is taking it from the clipboard. So we'll say add to movie and scale. And while you can't see it, we'll skip to the middle, and here we go. That's our watermark right there. However, that does look atrocious, and that's because there's no uh, transparency going on. We'll fix that, though, in the next step. Now what we want to do is add the actual watermark. To do this, go to Edit, Add to Selection and Scale, and we're doing this from our clipboard from when we copied it earlier. And there we go. Now, when we go to the middle of our movie where we have our selection at, you'll see that we have our watermark in the upper left hand corner. That's the default position. And you'll notice that the alpha did not work at all. There's no transparency. It's absolutely hideous. So we'll have to change that. However, that's part of the step. And we'll go to Window, Show Movie Properties, or Command J. Now I have our movie properties here. And we want Video Track 2, which is when we paste it over. This is the original. And this is one. That's our watermark right there. And go to Visual Settings. For transparency, go to this menu right here and say straight alpha. And there we go. Looks much better now. We'll go back here and 278 by 60 is a bit too big, so we're going to scale this down to 200 by 43. And 43 is automatic because we preserve the aspect ratio. And that's the new size. Now the final thing we have to do is to edit in the lower right hand corner which is where we want it. Now you could do the same steps for a upper right or lower left. But we're going to be doing lower right. For the offset, we have to do a little bit of math. And first of all, we need to find out what the size of this video is right here. So we'll go to Video Track 1, 
and we see that's 720 by 480. So we'll go back here and we'll subtract 200 from 720 and that gives us 520. Now we have 43 so we need to subtract 480. So we need to subtract 43 from 480 and that gives us 437. 437. Now if you want to you go to spotlight and do the math so we'll type in 480 minus 43 and that gives us 437. And that's it. We hit return and voila! It's in the lower right hand corner exactly where we want it and it's on the entire middle part of the film. Here, I'll shrink this down. There we go. And you can see that the watermark is there during the entire middle part of the film but it's not at the beginning of the film and it's not at the end. So that's how you can add a watermark to your videos. It's really easy to do and once you get the knack of it you can do it pretty quickly. Well that's pretty much it. While this process is a lot easier in Final Cut Express, this is how you can do it in QuickTime Pro and QuickTime Pro is cheaper than Final Cut Express. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing.